Hey, Dr. Potter here, creator of the PCOS Fertility Protocol. And today I want to share with you what not to do when it comes to fertility medication and talk to you about, you know, one big reason why it doesn't work. Okay. Because I see this really often patients in my practice who are sharing with me the journey that they've been on thus far. And this is happening a lot. So I want you to be aware of it so that you can avoid this. Okay. And that you can support your body as best as you can to help open up your fertility. So hi. Um, so glad that you're here. Before we get started, be sure to take a second to subscribe here to this channel. So then you stay updated on all the new PCOS fertility videos that are coming out. Okay. Awesome. Um, all right. So when it comes to uh, fertility medications, specifically uh, ovulation induction medications like Clomid and Letrozole, here's what happens really commonly. So you go into your doctor and um, you know you haven't had a period in a year and you're you really want to get pregnant. And so they say, all right, well, we've just got to get you on this medication to jumpstart your ovulation. And typically they'll recommend, you know, you take the medication and you do timed intercourse to see if that works. And you go through that, it doesn't work. And so then you do another cycle and um, you do an IUI with that cycle and it doesn't work. Um, what are you going to do next, right? You're led to believe that this is the one and only answer for you. And if these medications don't work, then the only next thing that you can do is IVF, which is a huge investment. And there's a big shortfall to these ovulation medications. So let's talk about it. If you haven't had a period in a really long time, or even if you are having a period and you're not ovulating and you jump straight to those ovulation induction medications, the big shortfall of those medications is that they are not addressing the root cause of what is causing your body not to ovulate, not to have a period. And if, you, if your body is in that place where it's not having this normal, natural cycle, you've got to get that investigated, right? That's a big sign that your body is needs something in order to get that back into place because having that, you know, monthly menstrual cycle is totally normal for our bodies and our body wants to get back there. And you've just got to do a little bit of work to figure out why that's not happening and what your body needs in order to get your period to return, get your body to ovulate, okay? So jumping straight to those ovulation induction medications, that's like throwing spaghetti at a wall. It's inefficient and it wastes your time and your money. You need a plan that's specific to your body because you have to understand what it is that's going on in your body. What type of PCOS do you have? There are four different types, four different reasons that are causing your lack of ovulation or your period not to be there. And so once you get that figured out, that opens up fertility. That is the key to having the best chance of becoming pregnant, you see? So if you're in this place where you need to know what it is that's going on in your body that's keeping you from getting pregnant, that's keeping you from ovulating and having you know, regular normal rhythm periods, um, then jump on a call with me. Let's talk. I have free PCOS breakthrough sessions available. It's a virtual session where you and I are going to talk. We're going to talk about what's been most frustrating with your fertility journey. What is it about your PCOS that's keeping you from getting pregnant? And what's been missing from your care that is, you know, keeping you from seeing results? And so then you'll also get this guidance from me that's saying, okay, well, here's the missing links for you. This is what you need in order to move forward. Okay. So you can sign up below. Link is right here. Go ahead, sign up for one of those. Can't wait to see you there and have a great day. Bye.